bit of a like a minor cough here. And that's uh troublesome. But we are here to find Mr. Ethan Carter. Who I don't really know who that is. I think it's a little boy. But we're here to find him. Now, you may be wondering, where is Xenoblade? Why am I not playing Xenoblade? Um, I decided uh, over the last couple of weeks, I, I was doing some thinking, and when it came to playing uh, Mass Effect, which I just finished a few weeks ago, um, I realized that by the end of it, I had gotten kind of burnt out, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but at the same time, I feel like I should kind of keep things fresh and new. Um, and as such, I think I'm going to kind of work it so that the stream is going to have like stuff for Saturdays and then stuff for Sundays. So I think um, just because I typically have a better turnout on Sundays than I do Saturdays, um, that Xenoblade will be my Sunday game. And I will play that, you know, just, just like normal, like I did last time. Um, but on Saturdays, I'm going to put the variety into the variety streaming part of the channel. So, um, you know, it, it'll be the slot where I put in, say, shorter games. Games that don't necessarily take as long to finish. <clears throat> so, with that said... Uh, a prime example is what we're going to be trying to do today, which is we're going to try and get through some story-driven single-player games that don't take that long to finish. I'm actually hoping, depending on my stamina and how quickly I can do this, uh, I'm hoping to get through three games today. So we're going to do uh, Vanishing, Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which is what you can see in the upper left-hand corner right now. Um... It is slated, I think, to only be between four and five hours in length, um, depending on how much uh, exploration I do or what have you. Uh, and then we're going to tackle the game Dear Esther, which is also just... Uh, these are all story-based. There's little to no action, and there might be some minor puzzle elements. I think Ethan Carter at least has some puzzle elements to it. Um, but Dear Esther is only slated to be maybe less than two hours. Um, so I'm hoping these are all going to be quick burns. That's, that's the goal. Um, and then we're going to try, you know, if we still have time, we're going to try and hit, uh, the game Valley, um, which I was interested in when I saw it, uh, what, about a year ago or something when it popped up on my Steam feed or what have you. Um... But it seemed, these all seem like interesting games. They're story-driven. I'm kind of wanting to just chill out uh, today. Uh, this, is, this is actually something I've been trying to do for the last few weeks. Um, I originally was going to do it on Monday when I had the day off from work uh, as a recovery day from, um, from MGC, which is what I, why, I was not, uh, why I was not here last week. Um, and that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, got to visit with, uh, some friends from out of town that I hadn't seen in the last year. Uh, and I probably drank way more than I should have. Uh, I didn't get in any trouble, but, uh, yeah, let's just say that Monday was definitely a recovery day and that's why I did not stream. Um, just cause I was so, it wasn't cause I was necessarily hung over, although I did have a bit to drink the night before, um, but I was mostly just drained. Uh, I was just really tired. So when I woke up Monday after my few hours of sleep, I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to hold off on streaming today because I figured I was going to be very low energy. Um, and with these being story driven games, I think I need to have the energy to be able to push through them. So anyway. That all being said, here we are. We're going to play some Ethan Carter, Dear Esther, and hopefully Valley to uh, round out the evening. And then tomorrow, at our normal time, we will be right back into Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. And 
if I am able to get through all three today, um, next Saturday, we will start the surge. And that ought to be a lot of fun. I did a little bit of playing for some testing purposes and, um, yeah, it looks like it'll be a fun time. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into this. Yes, we're going to overwrite. That was just for testing. Oh, I guess I should switch the screen. There we go. Narrative experiences not hold your hand. Ethan Carter, I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay. So based on uh, at least my testing thus far, I have played this this much. And it's uh it's basically, yeah, you just at least thus far when I was doing some testing, there's stuff that you can do like off the beaten path. Um just my volume a little bit. Because I, I think when I was testing, I stumbled upon like a trap or something. But like I said, there's little to no action to my knowledge in this game. And as, I mean, visually speaking, this is obviously very, very pretty. Um, I don't know what settings I'm playing on. I think I'm playing on either high, maybe ultra. Because this is a little bit of an older game. And this is the, uh, the Reda. Redu uh or redux if you're gonna pronounce it like that. Um but this is that version, so it's um Oh, see, see that's what I'm talking about right there. Sense. Now see, I don't know what sensing does. Cause I tried this with something else. Okay, now it says trap. Okay. But see, I don't understand what the point of sensing is, especially since it only does that. Unless that's just to tell me what that is, which is like, duh, I know it's a trap. But I don't know, I'm not sure if I should wander too much off the, off the train tracks, but, you know. But as it, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe I got to check all of these. Cause I know there's at least one other one. That's like, uh, kind of trap door -ish. Maybe that'll help me. Oh God. Spooky. So let's see. Yeah, it seems like uh, all like checking all the traps is going to like open up some kind of portal, I guess. And I think I'm going to just for the sake of my my heart. Uh, just kind of turn the sound down just a pinch. It should still be loud enough for you guys to hear. I like the ambience, ambiance or whatever you want to call it. So let's turn that up a little. Uh, voice will 
as well. We'll leave music where it is. Should be good. I don't I don't know if it's possible to uh to die in this. Like I don't know if those traps could actually get me or hurt me if I got too close to them. Wondering I'm Guessing I don't need to go that way. That trap over there. I have no idea if I am to interact with uh, individuals, if I'm gonna see animals, I can't jump. At least not with the conventional control. So I can sprint? Oh, so... I can't, I can just, I can apparently just walk through it. I mean, I don't have a health meter either, so I guess that... Kind of makes sense. That's where I came from. Um, this will go up here real fast if I can. See if there's. So I know there's at least one more trap over here. Just like the little trap door guy. Although I don't remember exactly where it is. So. Oh, there it is. See, it's complete. See everything now? No. It seems like I'm getting close. I'm guessing I need at least one more. A low trap. I guess. <laughs> oh god. Oh, finally. Oh, okay. Now now we're here. Wherever this is. Um Okay, so this is new. This. Oh, geez. Um. By Ethan. Uh, sap by Ethan Carter. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. Villagers believe this old man. Believe this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. Uh, one cool night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Anything on the other side? Just a photo and illustration of the fire. Hmm. Ethan, okay. I told you, you can't be here. But Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Hmm. Right? I don't know if you guys were able to see that. Then I locked an achievement, so I guess we're making progress here. Seem to do anything. Lost, lost my controls. What's going on? Zoom. So I have camera controls, but I don't have. Can't move. 
Why can I not move? I can't pause. What the hell? What the hell's going on? Oh, great. Okay, the game is glitching out. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Maybe we're going to have to start we're gonna have to reboot the game because it does not want to cooperate right now. I can't even read that. I can zoom, move my camera, but I can't do anything else. Okay. So let's, uh, I guess, go back into Steam. Close. Close the game and hope that it's going to uh, save that spot. Not what I wanted. Okay. I need to tax, task manage. Come on now. What are we doing here? End the task. This is how it's going to go tonight, huh? All right, let's try this again. I know you guys can't see this because it's set up. Okay, now you guys can see it. I have no idea where we left off. I'm hoping that glitch is going to be a one-time thing and not going to happen con Oh, God. It didn't save anything. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to... We're going to speed run through this first part since I kind of know where all the traps are. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. Oh, God, can I skip this? But he knew who no, I, I can't. Was. All right, when the we're going to have to watch this again. And the priests don't believe you. You call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, okay. I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. There's... That one... Where's the other? That one... At least now knowing where everything is, this will be a lot easier. That one. That one. I think we needed one more. Last one. <laughs> Come on now. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, now let me see. Nice. Uh, it's not gonna let me save anywhere. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do, because I know that there's an auto save point over here at the end of the tracks, so we'll make it auto save and then come back. Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. Okay, so there's this. So I haven't gone past this point. 
I came up to the train, little choo-choo here, and I can't do anything in here. I think it needs, it either needs power or, or I need to just something. I don't know. But this should be a save point. Which I think the dots up in the corner should indicate. <clears throat> so at least now. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, blood. Find a crank. Oh. Seeing how it just basically tells me where the crank is. But I guess it's a matter of figuring out where that spot is so I can get said crank. Clue. Okay, let's uh, let's go back and see about that that other stuff with the traps, just to see if it's gonna try and glitch out on us again. I'm hoping it won't. I need to move the chair. <laughs> Excuse me. Sitting off a little, a little too much to the side there. There. Get my butt centered. All right. So we'll go and we'll sense these traps. Go back to that spot with the um. All them them bones. I mean, at least walking through, um, walking through this area is really nice. Oh, and see, it looks like it's actually supposedly saving. I'm almost wondering if I were to, uh, put back to the main menu before doing the last one if maybe it'll save my progress in that regard just on the off chance that it's going to uh, give me a little itchy poop let's see So here, we'll just stay here, exit real quick. Just because like, I want to ensure that you're going to not have to start this game over again. Okay. There's that. Far back our... Yes. Since this, how many do I have? Four? Okay, so I just need the last one. And right here. Okay, let's see what happens. Here. What's that fire at though? The fire last time. Maybe it was after I read that thing. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna read it again though. Ethan, I told you you can't be here. But Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. 
Okay, I can move this time. The glitch is now... We are past that. Good. I guess I should note if you guys hear any uh, motor vehicles out there, I apologize. I do have my windows open today because it's actually a lovely day outside. Probably the first warm day that we've had in um, months. Uh, at least weeks. And the weird thing is, is I can look outside of said open window and I can still see snow on the ground. Good times, right? Um, okay, so let's let's see what this says. Uh, fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning. According to officials from Bayfield County Fire Department. Six asleep. Blah, 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 blah. Once owned by Albert Bendegriff. By the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter. Oh, Gail Carter. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Our husband Edwin told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. <coughs> Answers for hairs. Hmm. Okay. Now, now we can continue our journey. I don't know if I have more traps I gotta find. Plus, I also don't know where, where exactly I am. I don't know if I'm still close to the tracks or not. Wander around. I don't know if I'm... Oh, there's the tracks. So wait, was that fire pit thing there the whole time? Hmm. Curious. Either that or we're on a different spot of tracks Same. yep there's tracks like normal okay so I guess what we will do is we'll go past the little choo-choo because I'm guessing like over there because if you think about where that crank image was, it should be somewhere down there. Which should be exactly where uh, that road that the, that's behind the train should lead to. That's just my hunch. I don't know that for sure. But that's what we're going to go with. Doot and do, dee doodly doo. I guess before that, we'll just kind of go over here. Like there's anything of note. I don't know if I need to follow the tracks or if I should follow the road. But it seems like at least for the moment, they kind of coexist with one another. And if you're curious, I am using mouse and keyboard for uh, for my control input. Figured that would be better than trying to worry about batteries in a controller or something like that. I don't know, what's this? Really looks like someone was tied to the tracks. Okay, well, that's rope. This, on the other hand, holy crap. Hmm. I didn't think that this was actually going to be anything violent in this regard. I was wrong. 
So now I'm thinking follow blood trail, I guess. Thing. Instruction. <clears throat> oh. Hey, dude. Oh, cause of death, blood loss, head trauma. Now my volume for this. 